George Gerbil. Gerbil reads J, J, J. Gerbil reads J, J, J. Gerbil reads J, J, J. George Gerbil's cage was lots of fun. Jump, take a turn. Come on, let's run. George Gerbil did a jolly deed to help some families with a need. George Gerbil took turns running across the bridge in his gerbil cage. George Gerbil took turns with his big sister, Ginger Gerbil. The two pudgy little gerbils took turns on the rolling wheel and the two gerbil tunnels too. After a while, George Gerbil and Ginger Gerbil heard a little bell go, jing, jing, jing. Mama Gerbil wanted George Gerbil and Ginger Gerbil to come to her. It was their special learning time. Mama Gerbil asked George Gerbil and Ginger Gerbil some fun questions. Mama Gerbil wanted George Gerbil and Ginger Gerbil to learn to think. Learning is fun, said George Gerbil and Ginger Gerbil joyfully. Mama Gerbil asked George Gerbil and Ginger Gerbil to think of a way that they could help needy families. George Gerbil thought they could make joyful gerbil jelly. Mama Gerbil liked George Gerbil's jelly idea. So, the next very no the very next morning, Mama Gerbil got out her huge gerbil cookbook. George Gerbil watched as Mama Gerbil turned the pages. George Gerbil licked his lips when he saw the page with a picture of fudge. Before long, Mama Gerbil has found the recipe for joyful gerbil jelly. First, said Mama Gerbil, you may gather berries. That will be a jolly job, exclaimed George Gerbil. I'll gather blueberries. I like blueberry jelly. I'll pick red raspberries. I like red raspberry jelly, said Ginger Gerbil excitedly. Maybe you'll find some blackberries too, added Mama Gerbil. I like blackberry jelly. Mama Gerbil gave the gerbils a berry basket. George Gerbil and Ginger Gerbil carried the berry basket between them. Be careful, my dears, said Mama Gerbil. Remember to stay close to your big sister, George Gerbil. Off to the berry patch, George Gerbil and Ginger Gerbil scampered with a jiggle and a jump. George Gerbil and Ginger Gerbil began to pick berries. Look at this huge blueberry, George Gerbil exclaimed. George Gerbil had to stretch up and peek over the large blueberry just to see where he was going. George Gerbil huffed and puffed as he put the blueberry into the berry basket. Ginger Gerbil picked red raspberries. Ginger Gerbil giggled as he, she juggled and juggled to get the large berries into the Gerbil's berry basket. I see a gigantic blackberry over there, George Gerbil called to Ginger Gerbil. I'm going over there to get that giant blackberry just for Mama Gerbil. George Gerbil started to scamper away from his big sister. Suddenly, a dark shadow crossed above George Gerbil's little furry head. Jump, George Gerbil, jump! screamed Ginger Gerbil. Quick as a wing, George Gerbil and Ginger Gerbil jumped into a hole in a row of bushes nearby. Phew, sighed Ginger Gerbil. A giant hawk flew over the berry patch. Phew, sighed George Gerbil. And to think I almost forgot to stay beside you. George Gerbil and Ginger Gerbil waited to be sure the hungry hawk was gone. Then they picked the giant blackberry for Mama Gerbil. The giant blackberry was so huge. 
One gerbil could not budge, move it. So the two gerbils carried it to the berry basket together. George gerbil and Ginger gerbil dragged the berry basket back to the cage. George gerbil pushed, Ginger gerbil pulled. Mama gerbil was delighted with the large, beautiful berries. George gerbil and Ginger gerbil had done a great job. Now, wash your paws, instructed Mama gerbil. Jelly is made from berry juice. You will need clean paws to help me squish the berries. Soon, Mama gerbil, George gerbil, and Ginger gerbil were squishing and squashing and squishing the berries. What fun! George gerbil squeezed the giant blackberry. Ginger gerbil squashed the large red raspberries. Mama gerbil squished the huge blueberry. Making juice for jelly is jolly, said George gerbil joyfully. George gerbil, your paws are all smudged with juice, laughed Ginger gerbil. Mama gerbil smiled. Mama gerbil nudged. Touch gently Ginger Gerbil with her furry elbow as she said, Don't judge George Gerbil, Ginger Gerbil, until you have looked at your own paws. Your paws are all smudged with juice too, giggled George Gerbil. Before long, the gerbils had made a whole jug of juice for jelly. Working together was fun. Next, George Gerbil and Ginger Gerbil watched while Mama Gerbil carefully cooked the berry juices. Ginger Gerbil helped Mama Gerbil stir and stir and stir. At last, Mama Gerbil very carefully poured the hot jelly into four clean jelly jars. Then, Mama Gerbil very carefully set the four jars of joyful gerbil jelly out on the cage porch to cool. Ah, said George Gerbil, our joyful gerbil jelly looks good. Oh, said Ginger Gerbil, I'm glad our joyful gerbil jelly will help needy families. I have enjoyed making jelly with you little gerbils today. Praise Mama Gerbil. I am so glad you want to help others. All the gerbils went back inside the cage. Mama Gerbil closed the cage door. George Gerbil scampered over to run across the gerbil bridge. Ginger Gerbil scurried over to roll around on the gerbil wheel. Just then, the telephone jangled. Jingle jangle, jingle jangle. Mama Gerbil answered the telephone politely. Yes, Papa Gerbil, George Gerbil heard his mother say. We can help that family, Papa Gerbil. Mama Gerbil was smiling a big smile as she talked to Papa Gerbil on the telephone. George Gerbil and Ginger Gerbil clapped their tiny paws for joy. We can help someone already, sang George Gerbil happily. Mama Gerbil hung up the telephone. A gentleman will soon drive here in his jeep. The gentleman needs four jars of joyful gerbil jelly for a needy family. George Gerbil, please be sure our jelly is cool enough now. George Gerbil scurried to the cage door to look out. George Gerbil gasped. <gasps> oh, oh dear. Mama Gerbil, Ginger Gerbil, please jump out here quickly.